Okay. So today we're going to be playing a game called Summum Eterna. And I mean, immediately, do you hear this? This theme song? They're clearly trying to capture some uh, Castlevania fans, and so far they're doing a good job. What's this stuff in the corner? <clears throat> okay, so I believe it is a sequel, or prequel, sorry, to Aeternia Noctis, which is in that top right hand corner. And I'm guessing that you can click on that and then it takes you to that page. What we've got is, it's very much a metroidvania, very much a roguelite. So I'm literally going to give my impressions of this game as we play it, on the fly, seeing what we think of it, just going to go through the game, feedback as I'm playing, etc. Okay. <clears throat> Starting a new game, let's see what happens and where we're going. Don't take this the wrong way, what? I didn't even have time to read it. A to jump, uh, and then left stick to guide the direction of the jump. Okay, well, that seems fairly obvious. Hold down A. It's a nice little tutorial early on, just making sure that we understand where we're going. That's not the map. This is the map button. Very useful, as always. You can get rid of, you can move the map around by tapping R3 or the right stick in. Down and jump is slide through something. You can double jump and vault off things. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. I just couldn't figure out a double jump. Right stick to look around. Okay, cool. That's helpful. You can right trigger dash and jump. That's cool. So we didn't have to deal with that. I like this. It's just giving me some internal or initial um, heads up. Okay, so an on-screen information about what my inputs are. So we've got uh, X or square. I'm playing on a PlayStation pad, so bear with me while I'm trying to figure out which way uh, buttons are. Okay, I don't know what Y does. Y does throw the sword and you can press the button again to retrieve it. Okay, and then there's a cooldown. Fair enough. You can teleport to it using... Ah, that's kind of cool. You can bounce on enemies by pressing A and then while in the air using down on the left stick followed by X or square. I'm playing with a PlayStation pad so I have to translate it from my brain. You found a vessel of care so it contains a pra... okay. Okay, I'm still alive and I have not died. I kinda like the art style of them. Oh, and I'm dead. This is fine. Definitely fine, I'm fine. <laughs> so do get rewards. I've killed an enemy. Okay. Just carrying on. They take place in the same universe, but they count from the cycles between them. Okay. of time the two crowns fountain a tribute to the cursed monarchs i don't know what these mortals expect from us they are not our kind her luminous majesty didn't stand a chance last time this is a cycle of darkness so the fountain will only obey me it is dried empty of power i will feed it with my own essence dark matter and so I will improve my skills. Okay, so we upgrade by doing this shit. Fair enough. Can't do anything because I don't have enough. Hey, you. Yes, you, big guy. Don't ignore me. I know you're hearing me. Come here. I'm not going to hurt you. Hmm. And where did you come from? You look some kind of test, like some kind of test puppet. <laughs> Dummy Tammer. What's up? So casual. You never seen a dummy before? Oh, and you can also be sarcastic. This town will never cease to amaze me. 
I can be sarcastic and assume many other personalities. My former master and I used to have a lot of interesting discussions. I am a man of few words. I'd rather let the fist do the talking. And you came to the right place. Why don't you test your weapons on me for a bit? Do you want me to test my entire arsenal on you? Are you into weird stuff or something? What a line. What a question to ask somebody. <laughs> Are you into weird stuff? Because it seems like you might be. Exactly. It's been cycles since the last time someone took out their anger on me. Why don't you hit me up for a bit? Hey, this conversation's getting a bit... If you know what I mean. Oh, what? I'm a dummy. If no one hits me, I get bored. And you seem to hit it hard. You can test on me all the weapons and gems you want. As long as you've unlocked them first. During your adventures, you will find a weapons and gems with my mark. It will disappear once you've acquired them. Only then, they will be available in my collection. Before we fight, you will have an opportunity to choose the weapon and the gems you, wanna, you want it to have embedded. You better make good combinations. Hmm. Testing my weapons against a lifeless being that has self-developed, has developed self-awareness. Don't be a coward. I'm nailed to the ground. I couldn't do anything to you. Right, so we would just pick this and then hit up with the moves. There you go. We're getting a little trophy. Is this Yoda? Okay. <laughs> His name is Yaddo. His name is Yaddo. Oh, man. Hmm, welcome. I'm <laughs> Oh my god. That's hilarious. Unnoticed for once. I never met a botanist. What do you sell, old man? Hmm. What do I sell, do you ask? Oh. Do you see this machine? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's a seed generator, like the ones you got last trip. I can't do that Yoda thing the whole day. These? I thought they were bird food. Are they good for anything else? Of course. So, they're literally pointing out seed. Like seed run. Seeding a run. In a roguelite. Wow. If you insert a seed into the machine, it will germinate. I think the... Altering the conditions of the world and teleporting its owner wherever it wishes. You can basically choose adventures at your will. Hmm. Then I wouldn't need to go from one place to another, looking for unfortunate ones to destroy. Keep in mind. I can't. The thing is, I cannot do a Yoda. I used to be able to do Yoda. I cannot. <laughs> Keep in mind that where it takes you would depend on the seed genes. Extraordinary. Now I can train faster and anticipate the queen. So in the next cycle, the darkness will also rule. Okay, right now, oh, you are on basic difficulty. You basic. You're so basic. You have a skill tree and a simple armory. Other things, among other things, you will discover later. Uh, fin finishing all the bosses inside a seed without being defeated will allow you to move on the next difficulty level and unlock new surprises in famished town and the outside world too much talk i am a man of action i want to experience it for myself as you wish choose a seed and may may fortune be with you okay so you get more oh interesting okay so this is the one we had five percent enemy damage and then the wealth was plus five it's five percent en enemy damage and enemy health the ten percent darkness uh trap damage so do these things hurt uh, the 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 red ones are the negative ones i don't know that's the same that's the same That's the same. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Let's create this world. 
And we're jumping in. So anything we were just doing, we are no longer doing that now, I guess. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Do you like the Viking style music that we're getting right now? We've unlocked sides. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I tell you what, I do like that the, the enemies have changed reached. based on where we are. Uh, we'll go with sword this time. And just see if we do any better. Something is killing my men stationed in the region. I have a sneaking suspicion about who's responsible. The music is really good. I'm enjoying the music in the game. The game looks very pretty. It's very heavily influenced by Castlevania. Oh damn. I have one health. One health! Now we have guns. Now we have guns. Okay, so I want to say this. Now I'm able to do more run-throughs. I found that the gameplay loop has become, you know, more interesting. Knowing that you can change your weapon in the world, in the seeded world. So you're not necessarily stuck with something if you don't like it. At this point, I've still got the basic weapons. But, like I say, managed to find a few unlocks and actually... Finding a new area here. Never been here before. Got the seed by doing a run previously and then found that we're expanding upon what we're doing. But starting to learn the best way to clear a room and then subsequently get the chests and things like that and then what upgrades are worth keeping. Pushing towards upgrading health and some of the other things and those will be the next things I get. And you see currently my health is uh, you might not be able to see properly, but it's 110%. 110, and it was considerably lower. So just even that increase has made the gameplay loop better. What I have found is if you know what world you're seeding into, you can actually plan the weapon. Because some weapons, I actually feel like they're better in different worlds. There are some worlds where you have enemies where it's actually beneficial to have the guns, for example. Because the guns provide you a little bit more space you're not as close to the enemies uh as you would be with the sword or the scythe the scythe again offers you slightly different approach so all of that has been quite good so overall i've enjoyed this game i do think i would probably play it some more i think you need to give it some time i do wish that the gameplay loop was a little bit quicker to reward you because i think you kind of have to play it for some considerable time i feel like roguelites there's a balance there that you should expect to see when you play these games or feel. You want to feel like it's worth you going back to play it again. You don't want to feel like you're making no progress for a long time. You want to feel like you're doing better each time. And what I would say is quite early on in the, the loop, it's difficult to feel like you're making any progress because it feels quite punishing. You will potentially be in three rooms out of the whole area two three rooms and then you're dead and you're like wait what and you might because of you being in a limited amount of playing only get a seed for another world or for that same world or whatever rather than feel like you're getting something that will then benefit you and obviously like you say then learning what the enemies do you know that helps as well but Overall, I enjoyed this experience. I do think it does a good job. I don't think it does the best job I've seen for roguelites. I think uh, Getsu Fumiden, which I've mentioned in previous reviews, uh, and I'll actually put a link to that game, is probably the, the thing that this is closest to. I'll put a link at the end for Getsu, my Getsu review, so you can go and see uh, me playing that, or my Getsu playthrough, either way. There'll be a link to get to. That'll be the video at the end. 
what I would say is if you're after a roguelite that maybe does something different this doesn't necessarily do that but it does after a certain amount of time give you a decent gameplay loop that is a lot of fun and I think there is potential here for lots of stuff that you can do and it has a lot of chance to be fun as I've started to get to a point where I'm clearing out a lot of rooms and I'm almost close to clearing an area and once you clear an area obviously you're going to be rewarded by those more upgrades and better weapons and all those kind of things so at least at this point I think the more you play it the more you'll enjoy it if you've played the previous game I think then you'll probably enjoy this game but that's my review I think if you're a fan of the, the, the previous game, definitely pick this up. If you're a fan of Getsu, pick this up. If you're a fan of Roguelites, pick it up. If you're a fan of Hades, you're not getting Hades. I will warn you that now. It is not Hades. It's closer to, like I say, Getsu Fumiden and those kind of games. It does have a Castlevania vibe. It does link into the previous game. And I think that might have helped have an understanding of maybe what the lore is because they they do a good job of explaining it to you but some of it doesn't make any sense they're mentioning characters that i feel like are in the other game and if you don't know them you know how are they supposed to be relevant to you in this game so that's just something to keep in mind like i say overall i enjoyed the experience do i think it's the best roguelite no but i think if you if you're looking for a, a roguelite you want a fun and interesting game loop then there's absolutely nothing wrong with this game pick it up if you're interested i'll put a link to the steam page below and i believe it's available on other platforms as well so i'll put some links below and yeah let me know if you are enjoying these i'm hoping to do some more i've got some other games lined up for more reviews coming soon uh, i want to keep quiet on those just so it can be a bit of a surprise but anyway if you enjoyed this video, click on like and subscribe and all of those things so I can continue to do this as it's something I'm a big fan of and um, hopefully bring you more interesting games and find some real gems. Anyway, thank you so much. Goodbye.